Hey guys, this is Intuitive Anthony doing another social media video. Uh, before we get started, guys, if you want to donate to the channel, the, the cash app information is on the screen. It's also in the description box below, guys. But this video right here is unmasking the tactics of narcissists, guys. Okay, guys, this is Intuitive Anthony doing a video for all my chosen ones, guys. Us chosen ones who are sent by God to do very special things and to move our families forward and raise the vibration of our families so we can move from one level of poverty to middle class or middle class to upper class, guys. A very noble and worthwhile purpose. Narcissists are people who are in your life, friends, social groups that are hell-bent on keeping you where you are because they have a crabs-in-the-barrel mentality. Okay, guys, unmasking the tactics of narcissists. This video is for those who are just entering this world of chosen ones, empaths, narcissists, children of God, and children of the enemy, and need a little more understanding as to what we're dealing with and what is exactly going on with this subject matter, guys. A narcissist is a child of the enemy. They're basically a, they're per, basically a person who inhabits a demon. They make stupid, foolish decisions. They love drama, chaos, mess, disaster, and anything that causes stress in one's life. And empaths are usually in those families too, or around these people, and narcissists seem to have an unhealthy attachment to them. Because empaths have great things to do, and narcissists have nothing to do but destroy. They destroy. They like it. They enjoy it. That's who they are, and they are eventually going to burn for what they've done. But guys, for people who are just waking up to this information, welcome. You know, good morning to you for those of who, who are just waking up. These are the tactics of a narcissist. So you can start evaluating people in your lives, your friends, your family, um, people you know, acquaintances. It gets way deep, guys. So th let this video be an eye opener to you. And just remember, if this is something that interests you and you want to know more about, nothing can, nothing can teach you more than doing your homework, guys. Go as far as you need to go. Learn everything you need to know so that you can protect yourselves and make sure that you have the future you were supposed to have. Okay, guys, it's nine traits. I'm going to go through them, guys. The first one is gaslighting. Gaslighting is when a person, a narcissist, they're pathological liars to start with. They lie, but they, they take something you said, they twist the words around. They twist what you said around to make it say something that you never said. This is basically to make you feel like you're insane. It is very malicious in its core. Basically, they'll say, like you say, I'm going down the street. She said, no, that person said they're going down the street to do this, that, and the other, and to kill this and do that. Basically, what they're doing is they're taking what you said and they're putting their own spin on it because they want to make you feel like you're insane. So instead of you fighting about the fact that it's a lie, you're trying to defend yourself, which take this takes the focus off of them for them lying. That way they don't have to accept accountability for it. So basically, there it's, it's basically to make you feel like you've gone insane. Now tell me that's not the work of a demon. These narcissists have demons walking inside of them. And every now and then, you'll catch that demon smiling and grinning at the, at the calamity and chaos they're causing. But that's gaslighting. Twisting words to make you feel insane and saying something you did not say, which is in the same turn, lying. The second one, love bombing. When they see something that you have that they want or they feel like they haven't seen you in a while and you have something to be proud of and they want to take it from you, they will start giving you fake flattery, kindness, future fakings, basically saying that what you want out of life, they want it too. But they're doing this just to get close enough to you so that they can turn around and betray you again or cause more stress in your life. So basically, it's like... They're gassing you up so that they can attack you again. Third thing, triangulation. Say you say no that you, after, the, after they love bomb you and try to gas you up and try to get back in your life. And you're like, no, I don't want nothing to do with this. Because every time I deal with this person, something messed up happens. What they will do is they will pit you against another person you may know or a person that they may know. And try to weave this web of chaos and confusion. So that you are so focused on trying to get an understanding with all of these people and situations going on that you lose focus on what you're doing. So instead of you focusing on yourself, you're trying to clear up this mess that they caused and they caused it just to get you off of focus. 
Yeah, these people are pure demons. They are straight from the pit of hell. Straight from the pit of hell. But don't worry, guys. Don't lose heart. That's exactly where they're going. That's exactly where they're going. But that's what triangulation is. They will pit one person against another because apparently you're not bending to their will as easily as you should. The love bomb didn't work. Gaslighting ain't working. And you are apprehensive about trusting this person with every good reason you shouldn't. So they create this web of the uh, people and drama to keep you so preoccupied that you are distracted and they can come at you another way while you're busy trying to clean up the mess they created. Four, projection. They will say things about you or call you things or say things to you that are not true, but basically show you how they feel about themselves. They know they're wretched human beings. They know they're garbage. They know they are hot dumps to water. They know that they are going to burn in hell. And their plan is to make everybody feel as low and repulsive and repugnant as they are. So they'll say, well, you think you all that and you think this and you think that. And that's exactly how they feel. So basically what they do is they take their characteristics and throw them on you, throw them onto you so that you have so that you spend your time trying to say, I don't feel that way and doing that and trying to defend yourself instead of focusing on the problem, which is their ass. Don't fall for it, guys. These are the tactics they use. And if you see somebody exhibiting all these traits, yeah, they're narcissists and get the heck away from them. If none of that works, they'll play the victim. Well, I only act this way because of the way the world treated me and blah, 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 and the tiny violin. And it's like, I'm sorry, baby. Could you um could you speak up? Because I can't hear you with that type with that dick, with that pity dick in your mouth. I can't hear it. And basically, that is what it is. Just like in Deadpool, guys. That's exactly what it is. They will play this, this slow singing, flower bringing, this tiny violin. Everything, everything happened to me in this world, which is why I lash out and hurt other people. Yeah, it's just to justify their bad behavior. Number six, the smear campaign. If you still ain't been into their will and they can't get you to do what they want to do, <laughs> what they're going to do is start telling everybody something, oh, they're going to start talking down to you to other people, which they've been doing the entire time. Because eventually they know that all their relationships are going to end and you're going to have enough. And you're going to say, I'm not putting up with it no more. So they spread the smear campaign because eventually they know that everybody tells them to kick rocks. Go drop dead, kick it, keep going, keep going down the road, go play with somebody else. So they go ahead and spread the spirit campaign so that it so that it saves their image to other people that they're not as bad as you say they are and that you did this, you did that, and you did this. But that's probably a projection of their own personality traits, just like I said back in number four. Yeah, but they want to save face and make it look like they're the victim because if they can't get your respect and they can't get you to honor them, they will take your pity. Seven. Oh, they're going to seek revenge. So don't leave them any foothold in your life. Keep their asses at bay. Because they are, they're petty, spiteful, hateful, vindictive. Any emotion and low characteristic trait that the enemy will, that the enemy has, these are his children. They are, they are of their father. So don't be played by that. So they will seek revenge. But do not give them access to you, your life, or anything you care about. They talk to you. Do not speak to them if you don't have to. If you do, don't give them any of your emotions. Do not entertain personal conversations with them. Keep it cut and dry. Eight, guilt tripping. They want to make you feel guilty about something so that they don't have to take accountability for what they did. Because if they can force you to defend yourself or to feel like you have to make yourself understood, then they can sit back and hide the fact that they caused all this bull. Because now they don't have to account for what they did. All they have to do is get you to defend yourself. It's just a redirection. It's a misdirection. And number nine, guys, hoovering. If all of that doesn't work, they'll give you some time to cool off, and then they'll come back and try it again with the love bombing and all that. And the cycle repeats over and over. And these people don't learn. They're stupid. They just put it off and come right back to the same situation, thinking it's going to be different than it was last time. And it could be alive for... 30, 40, 50, 70 years. And the cycle's still repeating. They're still doing the same dumb stuff they've been doing before. They will continue to do the same dumb stuff that they were doing before until the enemy comes to collect their souls. And then they'll go down into hell and they'll burn for eternity for the lifetime of chaos and confusion they caused because they know what they're doing. They pretend they don't. They know what they're doing, but they've already chosen the enemy. 
and the enemy is going to get frustrated because they did not break a child of God, which is you guys. Okay, guys, this is Intuitive Anthony doing another video. If you want to donate to the channel, the cash app is on the screen and in the description box, guys. Do not forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, share this with somebody else. But remember, if you like it, I love it. But remember, these narcs out here, cold-blooded, guys. Peace.